Hi, I'm Will Hurlbut. I'm here as an intern uh, with the Westfield River Wild and Scenic Committee, and we're near Center Pond Brook pulling Japanese barberry out of the ground. It's good to remove Japanese barberry if you can, because it's not a native species to the area, and it grows very rapidly and it can suffocate native plant populations. Um, a few good ways to identify Japanese barberry is they have thorns along the stem, they have leaves that start out thin and become wide out the end, and they grow in little whirls along around different sides, and they have these little berries that grow off. They're a little bit oblong shaped. They start off green and then they turn red as they become mature. Ideally you want to get them out before they become red because then they're viable. They also have a few other distinguishing characteristics like the stems and roots when cut have a very bright yellow coloration. You can see here, especially on freshly cut roots. My name is Isaac Voltline. I'm also with the Westfield Wild and Scenic. I'm an intern here. So in order to actually remove the plant, it's good to loosen up the soil first, but before you actually start, you want to make sure you have the proper safety equipment. We use goggles or glasses to protect our eyes because obviously there's a, lot of, there's a lot of spines on it and you don't want anything stabbing your eyes. We also have uh, long gloves and stuff to protect our arms. These actually Meredith got for us and they are very helpful. They come a little bit up the forearms, that way when you're reaching into the plant it doesn't cl uh, claw up your forearms and get you all scratched up. We also have long pants so that way we can get into the plant and we're not uh, getting stabbed and scratching up our legs. But for the actual removal part you want to loosen up the soil before you start. So we like to use a pickaxe. The back side is very good for loosening up the soil and getting into the harder soil, sometimes a little bit more compact so it's a little bit harder to get in with a shovel but if you have a shovel that works great too these flat edges right here they're good if you jump up on them you can put your full weight on them and usually can penetrate the soil so that way it helps to loosen up the soil and loosen up the root system so before you actually remove the plant you want to check if there's any uh, native species around the area so if you see like trees or ferns and stuff around the area you want to make sure you either relocate them so dig them under get the whole root ball and then you can put them to the side and replant in that exact location later or if it's uh, just on the side, you can move it out of the way, tie it to the side so that way you're not hurting it when you're digging. After we start digging and we get the soil all loosened up, we use what's right here. It's called a polar bear. It's a type of weed wrench. You step on this little uh, paddle here and you move this lever forward, which opens the teeth. And then you would put the stem of the barberry in here, close it around, and then as it grips the bark, the teeth will bite in and then it acts as a lever which can pull the root system up and therefore take out the whole plant. Sometimes it's harder because the barberry has the short narrow stems so it's a little bit harder to bite onto so you can grab a clump of them or if that method isn't working digging up the whole root ball like you can see this one instead of just grabbing it up with the weed wrench we dug the whole thing up because it was too narrow and it wasn't easy enough to grab onto. And another great reason to pull barberry out is that in any area where barberry is growing, the tick population seems to grow out of control and above normal. And the reason why tick populations seem to increase so much with the presence of this barberry is that mice who carry deer ticks, that carry Lyme disease, use it as a hideout spot because it's low to the ground and it's good protection from small mesopredators like foxes, so it helps support the the mouse population to an abnormally high level. And, and this, this is, is the, the pile, pile we got, got from Center Pond Brook. Brook.